I cannot believe how cool this show is and how excited I am for fucking practice matches. Like, are you shitting me? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Let me write down episode 10. We were on episode 10 of Haikyuu last episode. We had Asahi get a little bit of confidence back, going for that never-ending spike, you know, even if I fail. Nishinoya is going to save it. You said it to me. I'll do it again. Even if I fail, Nishinoya, you know, just keep going. I'm going to get good. I'm going to get back to where I was. And he did. He ended up pushing through Tsukushima and Kageyama, and it was beautiful. Animation, top-notch. Everyone's character development, top-notch, everything. It was beautiful. Beautiful. With that being said, though, we have to finish the Neighborhood Association practice match and then get ready for the training camp, which is uh, what I'm assuming this episode is going to be about. So I'm excited. Without further ado, if you guys want to see the full length of this episode and or early access to any of the other shows I'm watching, check out Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter, guys. I appreciate you so much. And if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and join that notification gang. Let's hop into this. Haikyuu, episode 10. I want to hear Asahi scream to Sugawara again. Right there. Sugawara! Again, that animation, bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Everything in the match. Man, to be able to. Uh, to dive with full force, not be hesitant whatsoever to do that is crazy to me. <laughs> I love Tanaka. He's so confident, but you know, he loves his boys. <laughs> you can tell. Never seen a quick attack like that, have you? Never, not even close. And they're just like, nice one, not the nice one. That's what I was saying last episode, man. I'm used to it at this point, but everyone's still shocked. <laughs> You missed, you missed like five episodes ago, my guy. Come on, you that was amazing like five episodes ago. Man, that was crazy. Everything that happened you got experience versus pure talent which do you choose you got experience and trust over talent which do you choose dependability or being consistently inconsistent you know it's like i i love that debate i love that debate Looking back on it now, that's incredible that he's that short being able to jump over all those guys. It's amazing when you think about it. That's crazy. Yeah, such an overwhelming presence, man. Oh, I saw that coming for a second there. Thankfully, it's a volleyball, and volleyballs are much softer than if it was like a soccer ball or something. I'm just saying, that would still hurt like a bitch. Tsukushima, calm down. Of course, this is natural. He wants to be like Asahi. This is the not best timing to think about that, though. I agree. It's a good test. It's a good 
training exercise for Hinata. I don't know how it's going to work out. That was my first time seeing Asahi in a commercial. <laughs> and of course, Nishinoya comes. Of course. <laughs> You want to think about that in the middle of the game? I get, I get why Kageyama's doing that. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. He doesn't even want to risk that. He may not have the power, but he has the speed. That's for damn sure. And the jumps. Maybe not against Nishinoya, though, because that's just that guy. Yeah. Nah, that makes a whole lot of sense. You don't need to be the ace. You're still the ace up our sleeve. Good. よし。何ですか？同じ中学出身か？それとも小学校から一緒とか？あ？いやいや、彼らはこの前会ったばかりですよ。That's even more shocking, isn't it?。ジャンプフローター。ひらだ。よっしゃ。おらい。おい。It like curve. Wow, curve ball. I've never seen that in volleyball before. Yeah. That is awesome. It's like the opposite of a of a curveball in baseball. You curve it so much to where it spins. This one you don't curve it at all. Yeah. No, that's something we've established that we gotta work on. We gotta get our receiving up. If anyone can receive, it's Daichi, so that makes sense. <gasps> See, this is an actual back and forth in a volleyball match. I love it. With Asahi just powering through, man. That's game. Neighborhood Association. We took an L, man. I like these guys. Shout out to the Neighborhood Association, man. You guys came in clutch, helping us out with this game. Kind, considerate, cool. Shout out you guys. Yeah, wow. I didn't I didn't think of that. Because he's got to choose between Sugo. That's a dilemma he had earlier. Pure talent or, you know, experience. That's something to think about. That's awesome. Whatever you are, man. You got to be pretty cool. あの、ミドルブロッカーやべえぞ。気付けろとか言われてさ。あ、あ。負けないからな。押す。押す。ガラスの。はい。ああ。ガラスの fight. Next time they do that, I'm jumping in too. I'm screaming that. Garasuno fight. Oh, that was a good episode, man. That was a good one. Oh, man, I didn't write down anything this episode. God damn it. I'm just so hyped for the show, man. This was a fantastic ending. It's not surprising whatsoever that the better older team, the Neighborhood Association, won, especially when shown some advanced techniques like that jump floater, which I, I've never heard of, which I thought that was awesome. So I'm starting to learn more about the positions themselves. Like the ace isn't actually what the position's called. It's the left wing spiker who will most likely be ace because they're the ones who can handle crucial tosses, get past triple blockers, stuff like that. You got the mid blocker. Uh, uh, I don't fucking know the rest of them. You guys know what I'm trying to say though, but you know, it's like everyone's trying to get Hinata to stop thinking you have to be the ace to be the cool guy. And I, I really like 
Asahi's reasoning. You know, like the ace doesn't necessarily have to be the coolest. It's whoever the enemy team is fearing the most. That's by far the coolest. And that makes a whole lot of sense because if I was Livero, if I was Nishinoya and everyone was like, oh shit, Nishinoya is coming out on the stage. You know, I'd, I'd feel like I was the best. Come on. I'm just saying no matter what, everyone has their part to play. They are a coherent team, cohesive. They they play their part and they do their best and they stick together. They're a squad who gives each other ambition, confidence when they need it. And it's just overall, like this team is incredible. You know, like I can't get over it. Kageyama, love him. Hinata, love him. Nishinoya, love him. Asahi, love him. Sugawara, love him. Takara, love him. Tanaka, love him. Daichi, love him. What can I say? I forgot the the water girl's name, sadly. The Kyoko, yeah, the manager, but you know, I love her too. Except I can't love her because everyone Nishino that's Nishinoya's girl. You know what can I say? I can't I can't get in that, but I'm just saying the show is amazing. Can't wait to go against Neko. Can't wait to get Ukai more as a coach. That was a very very small detail, but a very big thing that he has to come up with. You know, he's like, Do I have Asahi and Sugawara? Who are just experienced, have this day and night trust, are amazing together, but also have pure genius talent with uh, Kageyama and Hinata. So he's like, as a player, he never really thought about the one who's picking the players. He's always worried about where he would get picked. But as the one picking the players, it's a lot harder. And you know, you never really think about that till you go to the coach's perspective. I, I never thought about that. I'm never team captain. I'm always the one waiting to get picked, you know? But, you know, I get that. So it's like, it's crazy the things that you don't think about, you know? But like I said, this episode, the show is fantastic. I am enjoying the fuck out of it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below, of course. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. Peace out and have a great day, you guys.